The number of children rushed to the emergency room because of a head injury has increased dramatically in recent years. Brian Morin tells us that's leading to an unnecessary test that could be dangerous. He's watching out for you. Often children undergo a CT scan, also known as a CAT scan. But Consumer Reports cautions in many cases the test isn't needed and can actually lead to long-term health risks. Francine Young took her two-year-old daughter to a pediatric emergency room after she slipped and hit her head on a dresser. She vomited shortly after and she kept complaining about the pain in her head. Like Gabriella, around 500,000 children a year end up in ERs because of head injury and about half of them undergo a CT scan. But the American Academy of Pediatrics reports that a third of those tests are unnecessary. Many patients with concussion are a little dazed, a little off, a little headache, a little nauseated, and those patients, in the absence of any other finding, would not really need a CAT scan. Parents may be playing a role in the increase in CT scans. A Consumer Reports survey reveals that more than one-third of parents say they would insist on a CT scan if their child received a significant blow to the head. Consumer Reports medical advisor neurologist Dr. Orly Avitzer says radiation from CT scans increases the risk of cancer. Children are more susceptible than adults to the risks of radiation, and there is a concern about the lifetime cumulative effects of radiation exposure. And a CT scan of the head can expose a child to a significant amount of radiation up to 400 times a regular dental bite wing x-ray. For Gabriella, there was no CT scan, but mom was confident doctors did what they needed to do. She was observed by two doctors, so I really, I felt very comfortable leaving there that, that night. Now Gabriella is back to being a healthy, busy two-year-old. Consumer Reports points out there are times when a CT scan is important. After a serious accident like a car crash or when there are serious symptoms such as confusion, loss of consciousness, loss of hearing or vision, or tingling on one side of your body. Back to you.